Hello guys, you are welcome again to another After Effects Tutorials and today I'm going to show you how you can do this me text animation in Adobe After Effects without the use of any plugin. So support me on this one, do not forget to like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification, then come back, let's get started. Now in Adobe After Effects, I'm starting with a basic composition with 10 seconds of duration. Then I added a solid layer with a black fill and then added the text. The reason why I choose this text is because it has an equal size across all the writing. I mean the thickness and the name of the font is prototype regular. So you can feel free to look for any other font that is similar to this where all the sizes across is the same thickness. We are not going to be needing the text. We just need it as a guide to draw our path across the text. Now I'm going to pick the pen tool and set fill to none and then set its true color. I'm going to trace across the M from the bottom right here to trace the M. As you are doing this, just follow it all through. After you are done, we can go back and adjust some of this. Now let's adjust quickly some of the part that is not fitted. And then make sure no layer is selected and also trace the second letter which is the E from the right side of your screen through the text and also make adjustment when you are done. Make sure you rename all the layers to keep things organized for the M name it M and for the E part name it E. So I'm going to quickly hide this text layer because I don't need it for the moment. So I'm going to unhide this. So I'll first of all select the M and then hit UU to reveal the property. Go to this add right here and add a trim part. So I'm going to go to about two seconds forward in time. I can change this later, then expand the trim part option and set a keyframe for the end. Then go back to zero and change the keyframe value to zero. That is going to give you this. Come back to five frames after the first keyframe and set a keyframe for the start. And then go back to the end of this keyframe right there and adjust this start value until it fits the level where the M starts. To get this, you can equally unhide or pull in so that you can see the level. You can drop a ruler to make sure everything is aligned. There you have it. Now, if you pull back and play this back, this is what you currently have. Beautiful. So I'm going to select all these keyframe, then right click on them, go to keyframe assistance and then easy ease. I'll select this particular Please and move to the graph editor and pull the curves in like this. Now this is what we got. So I'm going to repeat the same process for the E. I have repeated the process for the E. I'm going to move my time indicator to about three seconds and then I'll hit N to set a preview point. So I'm going to preview this so that we'll see. And this is what we have. Beautiful. I will control D on my keyboard to duplicate the M. Then what I'm going to do is to shift this first one that is on the bottom right forward in time. So I'm going to hit the duplicated one, hit U on my keyboard to reveal the duplicate. So I'm going to move to this last keyframe right here. To see what we are doing, we need to hide the bottom value. So I'm going to set this start value for the top one until I can no longer see it. That is the top value. Start value should be 100. And if you play that one, this is what you should have. Beautiful. 
So I'm going to change the color. I'll go to the stroke color right here and just change it to another color. I can change this at any time, but let me leave it to blue. Then I'm going to duplicate it and also move it forward in time. And I will change the color to a darker color. And this is what you have. So I'll set the bottom one now and unhide it. So what I'm going to do right here, I'm going to change this to, to the yellow that we had before. So I will hide the text temporarily so that I can get the colors. So I'll just pick the stroke color and set it to this yellow. I'll hide the text back. I don't need it again. I think this dark color is not contrasting enough to the dark background. So I'm going to change that. This is better. So if you preview now, this is what you have. So if you like, you can bring the yellow first. If you like, you can bring it last. So I'm going to repeat the same process for the E. As you can see, I have repeated the same process for the letter E. But in this case, I made the yellow come first instead of having it come last. And this is what I have. Beautiful. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to select the M, right? The one on the top. I'm going to select it and duplicate it. So I'm going to change the color to white. I'll set the stroke width to three. Then I'll move it to the bottom of the hierarchy on the M layer. So what I'm going to do is to just offset it to this point, then hit P on my keyboard to push it to one side to the left. And this is going to give me this. Beautiful. So I'll do the same thing for the letter E. So if you preview now, this is what you got. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do now is to control A to select all the layers. I'm going to deselect the BG and then pre-compose it. I'm going to name this text and then make sure I move all attributes to the new composition, then hit OK. I'll pick the rectangle tool, make sure no layer is selected and create a box around it. Hold down your control key and double click on the anchor tool to move the anchor point to the center. I'm going to simply also align this to the center. I'll duplicate it, then hide the first one. I'm going to rename this to box. Then I'll rename the second one to stroke box. I'm going to select the box layer and then set the stroke to none. And set a fill color. I'm going to set the fill color to yellow. You will not be seeing your text at this point, but do not worry. So I'll move to this point. I'll first of all hide the box layer. Then I'll move to the point where all my text animation has completed to this point. Then I'll hit P on my keyboard on the box and set a keyframe for the box. This point, I will hide it. Then I'll move back forward in time. I'll move this up. If you preview that, this is what you have. Beautiful. So I want to make it a bit faster and then still move it to this point. Beautiful. So I'm going to move this keyframe to the beginning right here. I just wanted it to help me time when the box should come down. So what I'm going to do now is to mask this box into three. So I'll first of all select the box and then pick the rectangle tool again. Then I'll activate this tool right here so that I'll be able to draw a mask on the box. So I'm going to draw a mask like this. I'll select it and then duplicate it. Then I'll hit M to reveal the mask property. I'll move the mask forward by hitting the arrow key. I will duplicate it again. I'll repeat the same process. 
I'll collapse all the options and then offset it two frame each forward and that is gonna give me this drop I don't like the way it is just showing up like this so I'm gonna hit uh, select the three layer hit you on my keyboard I'm gonna change the positioning so I'll come to the first layer and then move it up completely out of the frame and I'm gonna do the same thing to the rest of the layer yes I think this is better beautiful so I will select the three and then pre-compose it make sure you move all attributes to the new composition and then hit OK so what I'm gonna do now is to offset it to where the text is almost completed I want it to happen almost at the finishing point beautiful now duplicate the box layer and move it to the top of the text also duplicate the text and then on this text layer I'm gonna add a fill color I will change the fill to black I'm gonna select the text layer and then toggle this timeline and set the track mat to alpha mat and if you play back now this is what you are gonna have now if you remember we hidden a box right here so I'm gonna hide it and then what I'm gonna do at this point is to set a scale beautiful now right click on your timeline go to new and add a new adjustment layer we're gonna add the transform effect so I'm gonna set a keyframe for the skew then I'll move forward in time to this point where it is completing and set the skew value to negative 10 I'll hit you to reveal the keyframe so what I'm gonna do right here is to go back to the first keyframe and set a keyframe for the scale so I'll move my time indicator again to the last keyframe on the skew and then scale this up If you like you can scale it back down this will all depend on your preferences so but let me use the scaling down backward then I will select all this these keyframes and then easy is if you preview the entire animation this is what you now have beautiful but I want this to happen before a bit time earlier in time beautiful And that is it guys, you can continue adding more elements using this uh, technique I have shown you. You can even add motion elements. If you want to check out my video on motion element, follow the card on the video above. And that is how you can create a mid text animation in Adobe After Effects without the use of any plugin. If you learned something new on this video, please hit the like button that will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people if you have any question please feel free to ask me in the comment section and i'll reply to all questions as quick as i can if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my youtube channel you can support me in any way you can give me super thanks subscribe to my membership whatever way you want to support me with even if you share the video that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated if you like the video leaving a comment is all a support so with whatever way you are able to support me i highly appreciate you so until i see you again on the next one my name is ssb otaru from motion digit studios